Um, some of the great investors of, of, of our time, Stan Druckenmiller, Paul Tudor Jones, are, are, are gold bulls. And, and many people are, if they're not gold bulls, they at least believe that um, that inflation is, is, it's possible inflation comes back with the, with the Fed trying to gun the money supply, or actually gunning the money supply here, and with great fiscal stimulus, or more fiscal stimulus. I, I think that, I think it's reasonable to own gold. Um, gold's done very well this year. I think silver's a better bet than gold. It's a higher beta version of gold. And the gold-silver ratio would tell you you want to own silver. But I, I think, you know, with respect to Bitcoin, um, I, I just make it a little emendation to what you said, Kelly, which is that it, it's, it's been a great month for Bitcoin, but it's also been a great uh, year, year-to-date, three years, five years, and 10 years. And then inception, Bitcoin's inception was 12 years ago. And it's been the single best-performing asset category in every one of those periods. So I, I, not, that it, not that it hasn't had a, a bad time, but it went from, you know, nearly 20,000 down to, down to in the four thousand, three to four thousand dollar range, so it's been very volatile. But I think right now that it's it's kind of it's it's staying power uh, gets gets better every day. I think the risks in, of Bitcoin going to zero are are much much lower than they they've ever been before, and uh, and you're getting you're getting greater adoption. I mean, you know, uh, MicroStrategy put half their cash, four hundred million dollars, into Bitcoin. Uh, uh, PayPal announced that they're going to make Bitcoin people can buy their buy Bitcoin and and you can use it you can use it at all their at all their vendors. Uh, Square had a you know had a blowout uh, numbers yesterday you know due to their due to their the sales and, and the demand for Bitcoin, and the Bitcoin story uh, is is very easy, which is that it's it's supply demand, it's economics you know not not 101 0.01, which is that uh, you know it, the Bitcoin's supply is growing around two and a half percent a year, and the demand is growing faster than that, and it's a fixed and there's going to be a fixed number of them. So I think every major bank, every major investment bank, every every major high net worth uh, uh, firm is going to eventually have some exposure to Bitcoin or what's like it, which is gold or or some some kind of commodities. I did see a thing that the uh, uh, the chief investment officer of, of Brown University, you know, endowments uh, are, are tend to tend to move slowly out there. And I'm on the investment committee at, at, at Johns Hopkins, and it's you know we have we have a, a great CIO. But we don't own any Bitcoin, and we may never own Bitcoin. But what what she said was that she thought that because of its asymmetric properties, that that everybody is going to want to own uh, at least some Bitcoin.